going, everybody? Skittle Kicks here, and I am back with another edition of American Truck Simulator. I am driving my Kenworth 100E with my custom uh, paint scheme. Well, the stock one that you get with the DLC. But uh, I'm going to be hauling this uh, tractor right here on this uh, stepped uh, flatbed um, from Lufkin to, I think it was Houston. Let me check the map real quick. Let me see. No, we're going uh, Corpus Christi. That's where we're going. Okay. So we're going to Corpus Christi. And um, I decided I wanted to do kind of my retro truck because I do love the K100E. It's a great sounding engine. I mean, listen to this thing. Thing sounds so good. So, so good. So um, I did a little bit of changing on the paint schemes. I went with the uh, default um, Freightliner. Um, hubcaps and the different I, I was noticing there was an issue with one of my with the rims that uh, apparently <laughs> they were a little oversized for the tires I had so they were sticking out like they weren't even attached so uh, that was a bit odd but uh, yeah so let's uh, let's go and take a look at this load real quick here uh, let's go walk around a little bit here Oops, let's uh, let's not do that so fast so we'll go down here kind of walk around the trailer see how she's looking here um, you know what we can do? We can go ahead and drop this other wheel here. I believe it's this one. Uh, I guess it doesn't want to work. Oh no! Probably that doesn't work just on my truck, on my trailers, but it should drop this wheel down. Maybe it already is. I don't know. But uh, looks like everything is hooked up. Let's see the kingpin. Yep, kingpin's in the position. In the position. Yes, position, folks. I have made up a new word. Position. And uh, here's the front of our truck, of course. Yes, it does have the Optimus Prime look because this is what Optimus Prime was modeled after, was the K100E back in the day. Um, and there is an Optimus Prime skin, which you guys have all probably seen in the past. Uh, let's check our attachments here. Yep, looks like they're all nice and tight, nice and secure. Tractor ain't gonna move on us. Fantastic. Field tractor, huh? It's not a branded one. It's not a John Deere or an International or anything like that. But hey, that's cool. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's go back up into our truck here. There we go. Let's go back to the seat. And we go like that. Boop. There we go. All right. So let's get out our way. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's put this thing in gear. Cut our flashers off. And turn our turn signal off. There we go. All right, here we go. We are underway in our nice old school truck. I love these old trucks, folks. I really do. And it seems uh, a few of you actually like these old trucks, too. Um, I got some really amazing comments on the uh, Scott uh, truck. I drive. I forget the model number. I think it's the a AH something or another. AH2, I think. I forget the actual number. Yards. Turn right. So, Turn right. anyway, but yeah, got some good compliments on that. There we go. Get over that hump. Check both ways. Oh, we got a camper. I'll go up to this car here. There we go. All right. I love the uh, the flat nose trucks too because they just you have a lot more of a turning radius because of the cab over design. But you know they're not really driven that much anymore um, because of the the issue of no protection <laughs> there's no crumple zone you literally are the crumple zone but uh yeah it'll be uh it'll be a lot of fun driving this truck again um normally i've been driving a lot of the modern trucks uh but man i'll tell you i love this truck this old school truck um so i was monkeying around with the settings uh, for my controller and it turns out uh yeah, I can't really get this thing to register. Um, my old my old 360 controller for Xbox, it was actually an Afterglow, so a third-party one. Worked just fine in ATS, but that basically broke. And so now I have an Xbox One controller, but I don't know. There, there seems to be an issue with this thing. Oh, I'm going way too fast here. Way too fast here. I'm a speed demon, folks. I'm a speed demon. Probably should just set the cruise control here. And I'll do an, uh, an outside camera view in a second here. Let me just get this little flat here. 
set my cruise control to 65, go ahead and do that. Oops, I bumped my mouse. There we go. That should be good right there. Let's go ahead and pop ourselves outside. Oh, look at that. Nice. I don't like this view because I lose so much control this way. I over overcompensate. Yes, I do. So we'll go to this view, this view. There's a top view of the roof. Nice. It's a good view, but uh, you can still tell I'm not exactly perfect with my steering, but you know, that's when I found out you could do this. That's pretty cool. But man, does that throw me off. <laughs> that throws me way off. Because I'm like offset of the, of the thing. I mean, I can sort of see what I'm doing, but yeah. Let's try this view. This bumper cam, of course, which I do like. Bumper cam is good. And then we got tire cam, which is one of my favorites, of course. You know, because tire cam rules. I don't know why this works so well for me. Well, except when I do things like that. I get a little crazy with the controller. But, uh... God, I love these old Kenworths. Man, these things are awesome. These are awesome trucks, man. Kenworth, I swear, outdid themselves with these trucks back in the day. They really did. And of course, if you have noticed, they uh, they are celebrating their 100th anniversary this year, which is pretty awesome. And uh, they are... Uh, they celebrated it by with SCS and created a, a really cool 100th anniversary truck, which I do own one, which is pretty cool. So I can go any faster. I can. That's right. This one I can actually go to the speed limit, but I'll keep it at 70 miles an hour because I know I'll have to slow down up here. I have this feeling at this, at this junction I'm gonna have to slow down. Oh, listen to that horsepower. Yes, please. I think this is the C15, but I can't remember. If it's got a Jake. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good cat. That's a very good cat. She purrs. <laughs> Folks, I love these trucks. I can't say that enough. I know it's probably going to get boring, but, you know. These are amazing. So amazing. I think I'll get over. I think I'll get over into the central lane. Uh, maybe I can convoy behind these guys. How about that? Yeah, we'll do that. We will convoy. Ah, oh, this is so fun. Oh, traffic, traffic. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. No, 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 no. I think what I have to learn to do is when I press the brakes, take my thumb off the thumbstick. <laughs> I think I need to learn how to do that. So, yeah. Now, as you can tell, this truck, which was probably from like the 1970s, or this one might be a 1980s model, I don't really remember, but they don't have any like Digital, in, digital instrument panels. This is all old school gauges. Uh, so you kind of have to ballpark where your uh, cruise control is going to point at. I think I'm going to be at 65 in a moment here. Yep. Yeah, I'm at 65, so I'm going to bump up back up to 70. There we go. And that works for me, folks. That works for me. Ooh, a little lag spike there. Go ahead and get over. I don't like that guy. <laughs> so you can just take a minute and listen to this truck if you want. Folks, that sounds so amazing. I never realized just how much fun driving trucks in this game was going to be. 
Um, you know, that's pretty. Uh, but yeah, I, um, I've just been really addicted to this game. This and ETS as well. Now, I don't have any engine mods or engine sounds in ETS, um, so they, they, they're just vanilla. But there's a lot of really good truck engine sounds from Z mods, and uh, you know this is why they sound so good. But keep in mind, Z mods is paid. But as you can tell, it's worth the investment. Um, but I wouldn't, you know, don't don't like go out and like spend a ton of money on on every single Z mod sound right now. You know, buy them in small chunks, if you will, or maybe just get one pack or whatever, just so you can enjoy a little bit. trying to adjust the uh, oops. when I was trying to adjust the uh, the controller what am I see what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to configure the buttons that I want to use but I think there was some update a long time ago with Windows 10 that basically broke the X input so which is what these controllers use um, and I because I don't know what, what actually doesn't work, I don't really know which one to remove from the patches, so I don't want to break my computer just for this. So it's a bit of an inconvenience. Because personally, I don't really care about the, you know, I don't want the camera on the D-pad. I want, like, different functionality. Um, I wanted, like, my jig break stuff up on my, on my um, you know, X, Y, A and B buttons and all that. I'm going to slow down here. There we go. A little bit slower. Don't want to get them a tick a minute. There we go. Oh, now it goes back to 75. Of course it does. That should be 75. I think it was three clicks. So, yeah, I had to uh, kind of modify the... I wanted to modify the controller, but, you know, like I said, it just doesn't want to behave itself. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just stick with the default. And it's fine. I know with my steering wheel, I can do a lot more. Um, that one registers no problem. I don't know why this one doesn't, so. It's very obnoxious, to be honest with you all. But, you know, it's the price you pay when you can't afford good stuff. Oh, I hate when I do that. Gosh. Okay, I gotta do a weird turnaround here. So I might as well just let it cruise down to lower speeds because I'm going to have to turn. Yards, yeah. turn right. Let's go ahead and turn our signal light on so we're getting prepared to turn. Get ourselves down to about 35 on this corner. Turn right. Because this probably will be a relatively sharp. Yards, oh yeah, it's going to go way left. slower than that. Turn left. Turn right. There was no stop sign there, I just noticed that. There is one here though. There's a cricket. Uh, I did uh, remove the uh, uh, the beta test. Um, it's, it's fine, I mean it works. But it's just so boring. It is so boring just being in vanilla. You know, you don't realize how much uh, mods make a difference. miles to go. Alright, cool. 
so it's pretty close by. I'm not going to turn up here, so make sure I prepare for that. Yeah, stop sign up there. We're going to head, go ahead and coast into this because After why not? Yards, turn left. Okay. truck you got the power all right as you can see our destination on the blip yes I can so I hope all of you've been having a good week and that are you're enjoying uh, enjoying what life has to offer whatever you're doing and uh, just hopefully you're having a lot of fun Keep left. doing After what you're doing 50. Drop that air pressure, jeez. Watch that needle. Watch that needle. There you go. All right, I think there's a destination up there. Yes, and doodly doodly. I do notice something. If you look at the upper mirror, uh, it's still daylight in the background. It doesn't darken like the front of it does. That's the mod. wide. This is a very tight fit. This will get easily get hung up on. Got to really work this in slow. To keep really on this side of that fence line. Yep, see I can already see it. So I got to pull over this way a little bit so I can squeeze through there. There we go. Look at that. And I'm sure they have to do that in some way. Um, I think I keep going straight over here. Yeah. I think I do. Or do I turn? No, they want it over here. Okay. Alright, folks. Where do you want it? Let's put our splashers on. Okay, looks like it's going to be roughly to our left here. So around this sign. Fantastic. I love the obstacles that they put right in the way, you know? Love it. You have reached your destination. Of course I have, because I'm awesome. <laughs> Let me see here. Where's my stop? Are you up here further? Yeah, you might be up here further, aren't you? You're probably down here, aren't you? Yep, there you are. Okay, cool. Call. Cool. Alright, so we'll kind of pull up over here by these pipes the side of the building because it's a very tight fit and just move small increments to make sure the trailer somewhat follows the truck in the tow so we can keep this straight there we go yes I think we got her I think we got her oh yeah we did fantastic Make sure that light triggers. Come on. Trigger. Oh. I'm backwards. Haha. <laughs> Derp. Okay, folks. Well, that sucked. I actually had to pull around because you had to come in the other direction. So, where that lot, where if you saw that perpendicular line, the one that goes across the back, yeah. You gotta go around this way. I should have realized that I was just pulling in. But I think it actually is this way. Yeah, this is the way I should have come in at. Well, lesson learned. Go around this way. Try to keep her centered. There we go. This way. There we go. Come on. Keep her coming. And there 
we go. Perfect. All right. Park your brake on. Flashes off. Engine off. Drop that trailer. Lights off. Oh, okay. All right, so we drove 377 miles, took us eight hours and 57 minutes, consumed 68.8 gallons of fuel, and I've made $2,073. Not bad. And I have now reached 106. I'm a, uh, 106. I'm a divine champion. All right, folks. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a comment below to let me know what you really think about this episode. And you can like the videos as well. Uh, share them because sharing is caring and of course leave a leave a subscribe if you have not already and smash that notification bell to all so you're notified when a new video is released take care everybody have a good one and bye for now